Hi right, folks, it's Rich here, poorly lit room. This is a video for specifically for Jamie 3703, but anyone else who might be interested in what I've done on my pedal board. It's had a bit of a shuffle round. I got rid of all of the Joyo pedals and some of the other ones put away for, yeah, change. But just change, because that's the way it is. <laughs> I've still got my Dunlop Crybaby here. And I'm still wireless, which is Lexato. Oh, I've left that on. No, keep leaving that on. And I've recently bought this Harley Benton mini pedal, which is a, a tuner. And that was about 20 pounds, I think, from Toman. And that seems to work just fine. I've got the Durpal. This came FOC, free of charge, with my um, blah, 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 PRS SE Swampash which uh, is, is nice, they're about £45 new. However, this Harley Benton Dr. D here is also an overdrive pedal. And I, I've i changed it back now, but I pretty much matched the tones out of this into to the Durpal. I spent about half an hour just seeing, because this sounds really good. And I was curious to see if I could get it to sound like the Durpal. This is has got a little bit more mid, so it's got an actual mid uh, button on there for for its tone but you can barely tell those apart this is 16 pounds 90 new <laughs> from toman which is ridiculous this is my most expensive pedal it's a snake oil marvelous engine that's another overdrive but that is more like a distortion that is mega mega loud i did have this on the board and it might go back instead which is a harley benton drop kick that's distortion pedal, excuse the bad light, you've got some different options there. I've, I have a weird relationship with distortion pedals. I'm not, I've had lots of them, I'm just not that keen on the sounds that I get, really. They're just kind of distorted. <laughs> a fuzzy sounding, I, I, I don't know. And so I'm playing, that's, that's the gain on there. So that's a, obviously got the gain up a bit on that one, down on this one, depending on what, and then I'll put these on together and get even more sound out of them. This pedal's actually a little bit noisy, surprisingly. Not a lot, but a little bit. And I've got all of these here in my effects loop. Down here, these on a separate in and out. So these are not all just going into the front of my amp. I'm using the Harley Benton Tube 15 amp at the moment, which I'm gonna sell actually and get something else. Anyway, starting on my effects i've got this phaser oh this by the way they're second hand uh, i've got that up for sale for 70 quid which is about what they go for uh, this harley benton phaser which is absolutely lovely and that is about 20 pounds this is new this was 45 or 50 and whilst i really do like the sound of it uh, and it is slightly different to this as a delay pedal. Delay is my favourite go-to sound. This edgy was about 30, I think, from Tobin. That's slightly more. And that is a good pedal. I'm happy with the tones out of the, uh, uh, sorry, the shapes out of that. But I've got these set slightly differently. So I've got this set quite spacey and big, and this not so much. So a bit like my overdrives there, I can either go a lot of overdrive, just a bit of overdrive i can go just a bit of delay or a lot of delay different sounds so that's those over here's my reverb pedal for some harley benton this is 16 pounds 90 as well i bought this second hand i don't know whether this pedal actually works properly this is the pedal that isn't good i don't think it's uh, my old reverb pedal was sky surfer and it's just all too big i'm not crazy about reverb reverb what i tend to do actually is just have it on on the amp just on at the moment you see here that's my reverb on the harley benton oh, it's a bit too shiny i've got it on three so i just have that on a, li a little bit but that's not brilliant it's, it, no it's not great and then this here is my lupo it's also a tuner i don't need that now so so yeah over overall that's in many ways, even even less cost than my last one. Well, the Joyo pedals I had, they were sort of 30 to 42 pounds, and I had a few of those. And down here, 
as well. So we've got sort of 20, this is 45, 17. That's a bit expensive, but say that might be this. I've actually also just ordered a secondhand landlord whiskey chaser, which I've had in the past, which is a distortion pedal. It was 12 quid secondhand. That's the other thing. You buy a lot of these used. They just don't cost a lot of money. So, you know, uh, and underneath here, it's a Harley, this is a Harley Benton power power supply. That was about seventy pounds, but it's got 12, uh, 12 sockets, and it's really quiet. Before I had loads of hum and buzz and noise and what have you. And it's all gone since I've had this power power supply. I can't remember what the name of it is actually. Can't see it underneath there. How are you doing? So yeah, uh, the actual board itself is I had that a while ago. It was a Donner one that was about sixty quid. You can see it here. That's little feet came in a bag and then I just uh, it came with a load of velcro which I stuck on so yeah that, that's it I hope that's helpful Jamie or anyone else who's who's watching